Okay, now that we've set up our component, we'll actually test them. Now, you've got the option of skipping the uh, system test, but I recommend that you don't. So click Next. Okay, the first thing that runs is the XML TV download component. Now, what you'll obviously notice here is the fact that uh, this component isn't registered yet. Now, once I do get my license coming through, I can just sort of follow the instructions that come in the email and uh, copy the license into the, the application folder. And once you do that, you won't get these annoying little messages that come up. And uh, like I said before, you'll get access to um, some of those advanced features. Now, once the um, the twenty second nag screen has uh, has finished, which I think it almost has, I can almost count down the seconds. You can see it's um, actually downloading the guide data. So if I just scroll up, you can see it's actually downloaded the guide data from um, OzTivo for me. And uh, one last nag screen. Now, the nag screen might look a little bit annoying, but uh, trust me, once it's uh, running in the background, you won't even notice it. Anyway, it uh, looks like the guide data has been downloaded successfully, and it's also been validated. And when we validate it, all that means is that uh, we've had a look at the data, quickly checked its structure, and uh, found it to be syntactically correct. And also your connectivity to guide service proxy seems to be A-OK -okay in this example. So three ticks, so we're ready to move on to next. OK, looks like uh, everything started OK. The exclamation mark there is basically saying is that because we haven't registered our XML TV download component, um, we have to manually download our XML TV data. Um, now, once you register and get a license for it, it'll download it automatically every day. During this period, you can try and automate it yourself by setting it up as a uh, Windows scheduled task, or um, you can just move over to the Start menu, Programs, epgstream.net, XML TV download, and XML TV download. And basically, this will download your um, your data again for you. So just to recap, um, without a license, uh, you'll have to manually download the data yourself or, like I said, set up a, uh, a Windows scheduled task to uh, download it automatically for you. Though we do recommend that you register your components. Okay, so looks like um, all our components have been started and are active and I'll click next to continue. And that's it. Now, if you want to configure uh, these components any further, there are advanced options and you can access them by clicking here at the end of the guide wizard or in your start menu or programs, epgstream.net, guide service proxy. You can access your proxy settings or under XML TV download, you can down access your XML TV download settings. Now, these advanced settings basically give you um, more options to, say, edit your data, implement parental controls, but uh, most people won't need to play with that unless they, they really like to tweak their, their guide data. So as an example, um, I'll just run the XML TV download configuration screen. Almost finished. There we go. And uh, this is an example of uh, the advanced configuration screen um, that, uh, say, clicking here would bring up. So you get access to um, you know, choosing your service on a low level, uh, how often you'd like your uh, downloads to be uh, downloaded, uh, channel listing, implementing parental controls, um, some of those other features you saw during the, the, the guide setup, and um, yeah, other bits and pieces. Let's close that. Okay, and uh, that's basically the XML TV guide wizard setup. Click finish. And uh, that's it. Now you might want to move on to our next tutorial, which is uh, configuring your guide service for Windows Media Center. Now, if you've got any problems, visit us at http 
forum.epgstream.net and we'll do our best to answer your questions. Ain't no sample in the jinx don't keep. I'm feeling kind of charged, got a positive flow of cash. Can't tell my mood by the sound of this rap, so quit acting tight, take a notch at your